All right, we said we'd come back with some more stuff. We looked at the bees from all outside appearances, Alan. You think we got some pretty good stuff going oh, on here? The hive looks wonderful. It's I a, like to hear that. Plenty of bees in there. Was it a rough winter? Oh, it was a bad winter. A lot of it this winter is when you know it, you'd have the 20 degree days, then it would warm up for three or four days. I'd actually see my bees flying, and then back down to 18 degrees for a week. So they're they're breaking cluster. Uh -huh. And then when that temperature drops, a lot of times you know you're going to lose your bees. Now what's he looking for right well, now? What we're doing now, he's uh, pulling the frames up, kind of looking for eggs and the queen to see if she's actually moved in the top box. If she has uh, gone to the top box, you want to put her back down in the bottom. Because if, if not, when she gets that filled up, when you put your super on, she'll just keep moving up and you don't want the queen up in your super. Why don't you want her in your super? Uh, she'll lay, they'll, they'll, they'll just make brood. Won't, won't store honey, they'll just, they'll just do brood. Your top box is full of brood. Is that bad? No, it's a good thing. I mean, that's, that's what it should do, because in the winter, as they eat the honey and they move up, she'll move up. And then once she starts laying in the spring again, She's just looking for empty cells to start laying in. She's not going to go back down. The queen cell is that peanut looking thing right there. Mm -hmm. uh, what they'll do is they'll draw that cell out. It's a lot bigger than the other cells. The queen will lay an egg in there and it'll, it'll produce a queen. Now you've been around this hive and I've been around this hive. I have mowed right next to it. For some reason they seem to be pretty docile bunch. They're, right? they're calm bees. They are really calm. What they're concentrating on right now with the hive being tore apart is that right now they're gorging themselves on what honey's in there. In case, in case it gets destroyed, that way they, they could pack up and leave somewhere and they've all got their bellies full. Now what's he doing right what now? What he's doing now is he's uh, cleaning all that extra comb off of it. That way, you know, we want to keep your boxes cleaned up. If not, they'll actually just glue them all together and you'll never get them apart. So what happens now? Next, next week we're going to get together and we're going to do what? Uh, well, we'll get another box, have it frames and everything ready to go in it. And what we'll do is we'll pull out maybe half of these frames with bees on them, with brood, put in that box, and we go buy a queen put in the other box and she'll just take over, start laying in there and you'll have basically take one box and make two. Alan's grabbing a super. Putting the super on so uh, they'll have somewhere to start storing honey. These frames never being used before, they'll still need to draw them out so it'll give them something to do, kind of keep them busy. I'm very happy. Glad. My bees are happy. They're wonderful. They're doing what they're supposed to do, they're making babies, which means more workers. More bees, more honey. I can imagine the first batch of honey that comes off of your own hive. The, the first time you pull a super, uh, it was for me, the first time I pulled it, I mean, it, it's it's almost like, you know, your first child. I mean, it's just most amazing. I mean, I was, I mean, I, I posted on Facebook. You, you know, kind of, it's my honey, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> my first jar that I actually put up, my first jar and dated it. I mean, you know, I was I was really proud of it because, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into this. You know, and the amazing thing about honey is it has all kinds of healing qualities, good for allergies. It's the perfect food and it lasts forever. It's unreal. Next time you see us together, we're gonna take this hive and split it. We're gonna get you involved this next time. Next time I'm putting on my suit. I am your father. You get I'm gonna to put my thing on, on. Yeah. I'm have the suit on, we're gonna go in after the bees, and we're gonna split this hive. So that means more honey. Oh yeah. Since I've got happy bees, we should have happier, more Oh bees. yeah, yeah. The happier you keep the bees, the better off you are. That's what I'm talking about.